going guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, join me today in the Lidford area of Dartmoor. Me and Pat are out for a camp, he's just uh, having a wee at the minute. Um, yeah, basically we're going towards Great Links tour today. So I came the other day with my little dog, um, just for a bit of a hike. Walked up Brat Tour over there. Um, and then I was looking across when I was having a coffee to Doe Tour. I thought that looks like a decent little camp that. Try and get out this weekend uh, for a little solo. Pat messaged me last night saying he's free this weekend, so he's tagged along and uh, yeah, we're going for a bit of an explore and then we're going to head towards Bleak House Ruin, I think, Green Tour, across the Great Links, and then tomorrow we're going to come back, I think, via Arms Tour and uh, yeah, have a bit of a check out and scout for some spots. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How's it going? Nice to see you anyway. Yeah. I don't know, but it's gonna follow you, I think. Yeah, I can follow you. Oh shit. Hello! How do you zoom in? <laughs> you can't on that. Well, you can, but it's only like two times, I think. Is it? Uh, the zoom's not big enough then. There's not enough zoom in the world, Shag. <laughs> From what I've heard. Oh, that's better. Feel better? Oh, I feel free stone lighter now. Pat's Mountain Harry styles. I've got shorts on. That looks uh, prickly. Look, yeah. Hey, that's all right. It's crumbling, mate. It's not structural. You'd be right. Quite well, up again. <laughs> all right. Ooh. Oh yeah, not too bad. Just when you stood off the top bit, I saw the whole thing like that move. I thought, like, oh shit, I'm gonna fall. Oh, I'm getting my leg over. Oh yeah, Jess. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hole there. Walking through Tick City now. And this idiot's got shorts on. Great. Hell of ease though. Nice. Gorgeous, mate. I've yet to do a little like valley camp next to a stream. So this is Dotor. Nice little um, spot from what I've seen. There's a couple of videos I watched this week. Looks good, but um, we're going to carry on. A bit of an explore up here and then we're going to carry on around the back there. Um, and then I think we're going to go to Great Links, which is there, I believe. Fill up some water on route and uh, yeah, get a drink and a coffee as soon as we get to camp because your boy needs some caffeine. That is a hell of a baby spot. Made a Mate, yeah, marking, that's wicked. Oh. oh, nice, it's even got a little tunnel to it. Yeah. Oh, it's a hell of a spot. Yeah, yeah a little wooden break there. Nice. Shouted all round. Yeah. I'm gonna get in there, mate. Have a lay down. How about that? This is class. <laughs> this is an awesome spot. Look at the tree there, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you don't see many trees on Dartmoor, especially on the top of a tour. That one's grown out of it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, <fuck. laughs> just as you say that, I stand on this bit and nearly fall in myself. <laughs> Might have thought my water now, actually. Yeah. Right, water. I'm hoping this time my catheter didn't actually filters the water. Because last time I used it, it was like completely blocked and it's like a trickle. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed it actually works this time. Now we've got a decent water source to fill up at. We shall soon see.
All right, moment of truth. Oh, he's good, yes. So yeah, when I was packing up my camping gear last night, I found my old um, water pouch from my bushcraft bag. So now I keep water bottle in there, cat dinner in the front pocket. Got a spoon in there, coffees, all sorts. And now I can just grab the whole pouch, bring it down to the stream. Oh, beauty. Ha. That's what we want. So yeah, I'm gonna fill this up and then fill up the cattle in again. Then I've got enough water for tea tonight and for coffee later on and uh, coffee in the morning. Yeah. So glad it's working. <laughs> He's like 50 quid as well. For it to like stop working after four or five uses, I was pretty miffed at that, but glad it's working now. Rain clouds over there, mate. Huh? Rain clouds over there. <laughs> Right, let's get to Great Link store. This is where I fall in the water. <laughs> walking now around the back of Chat Tour and then over the top of that is Great Links. We're going to set up camp for the night. Pat's just checked the weather and the wind's coming from this direction all night so we're going to go like that kind of side of uh, Great Links hopefully be in the shade. The shade? Shelter. <laughs> and here comes the rain. Awesome. So we're not that far from Great Links now. We can see it in the distance. But I just said to Pat about this uh, weather that's coming in here. The wind's picked up, the sky's black, um, and it's gonna be, what is it, 28 mile an hour gust tonight? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Pat's in a Hilleberg Cellular Black Label. I'm in a Lansham One Pro. Four so. Season. Four season. <laughs> Four season. So yeah, we'll uh, see how that copes with the wind and stuff. I've not tried the Lansham One before, so. Yeah, looking forward to seeing how it uh, handles it. They're quite steady actually, once they're up, aren't they? So. Yeah, we had it off um, Great Mist, didn't we? Yes, yeah. You had your two. I had my two, he had the one. And your two took a fair old battering, I must admit. It did, yeah. The one, oh, that's fairly strong. So yeah. So yeah, Milan Shan 2, I haven't really used that for like a year and a half. So I sold that the other week to a, a girl on Facebook. Used that money to buy my Robins. And then, uh, yeah, for the solo camp I was going to do today, I asked Pat if I could try the Milan Shan 1. He's like, yeah, go for it. So. I've got that, and he's got the Hilly Solo bot label. So, oh, nice little spot there. Yeah, so, hi MTV, welcome to my crib. Mate, your crib shit. <laughs> they've got no there. roof. Same part, I'd love to camp inside a ruin, but they've always got rocks everywhere because obviously the walls and the roof have fallen down. But yeah, it'd be cool to kind of like just set up a tent yeah. there, cook your dinner on your little stove and your jet boil in the fireplace. <laughs> that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, nice little spot we just found here. It's uh, next to this ruin. Some nice grass outside it. And then there's a stream literally just there. And some more bits just over here as well. Yeah, there was nothing on the map like to say that it was no, like quarry workings or anything like that. So we're not sure what this was, but interesting nonetheless. So like looking at all the old stuff. It's a bit boggy over here. Bog Mortimer. I don't know where to stand, I've got bloody trail running shoes on as well. Pat's got his big winter boots. I'm going to get wet feet, aren't I? I think we're good. <laughs> Just my luck, wouldn't it? Nah, we're good. I've made it, I'm safe. Oh, 
Yeah. yeah. Nice and sharp, isn't it? We always seem to take the like most random routes to camp, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> but we always see the coolest stuff, so yeah, I kind of don't mind it. I think, you know, if you just follow the tracks to get somewhere, you miss all the... All the cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. All the remote buildings and... And secret little spots like this. Yeah. Little valley spot. Wicked. Nice and sheltered. Good pass, Get right in there, aren't you? Yeah. Unless the wind's coming from under. That's true. If it's like a funnel, then you're fucked. But <laughs> if it's like a nice, you know, overhead wind. Yeah. You're down here. That spot on Dota we found for Bivy. Yeah. Oh, that's a fast spot. Yeah. Got to go there. That was wicked. Oh. Just had a quick little five minute breather, took in the views, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, and then just looked on the map and we've got one point, f no, sorry. Yeah, I've just added another dot on there. <laughs> yeah, to the top of Great Links, basically, we're gonna go via Donagoat, I think Pat said, Bleak House Ruin, and then Great Links. So yeah, about 1.3, 1.4 miles to go. Just started raining as well, which is great. <laughs> Hopefully it'll blow over. It's only spitting at the minute, a bit of mizzle, as we say in Cornwall. Um, but yeah, enjoying the walk so far. It's nice. It. Good, isn't it, mate? It. Change of plan. We've come at great lengths. As you can see, the rain blown in. We're there now, so we're gonna get set up, pitch up tents, make coffee, see if this ship blows over. If it does, venture back out in a bit. So I'll see you guys at camp. Mate, you over there's got the best spot, but um, we'll find one, definitely. Plenty of space apparently. It's just the wind's coming from this direction, so yeah. we need to get out of that wind, basically. <laughs> I mean, Pat's going to be fine, he's in the, the solo pot label. <laughs> Having a lunch on, so... Which way is nothing as it is. Oh, it's that guy that we saw earlier. Just been chatting to a matey that was up top with his uh, Terranova Voyager. Nice guy, just had a little chat. He's coming from uh, Warwick, I think he said. So yeah, we're just uh, about to set up now. Come to the best spot we can find that's sheltered because up there is way too blowy. Obviously, matey's in that good spot. So we've come back end of here. The wind's going to come from the east all night, apparently. So behind here, we've got a bit of shelter. Pat's going to set up first. Then I'm going to set up in front of Pat. Obviously, because he's in the tank, that's going to take the brunt of the wind and should protect my little uh, lunch on one <laughs> from the wind all night. So yeah, let's get set up. Right, that's Pat all set up. Now to do mine, hopefully he's going to give me enough shade from, <laughs> with the wind there to uh, stop me getting blown away tonight. Right, so both tents are set up now. As you can see, we've got the uh, the bog standard Helleberg solar block label versus the mighty, the victorious Lanshan One Pro. <laughs> four, oh, it's a four season, so yeah. We shall see tonight. Um, triple pegged that door that's taken the brunt of the wind. Double pegged that one. We've basically double pegged pretty much everywhere that we can with the pegs that I've got. And I've hello uh, airflow in my tent tonight. Let's say it's single skin. And um, yeah, the gap for there, it's going to be interesting. So, be a good comparison video, isn't it? Solo block label versus a lunch on one single skin tent. Who will be here in the morning? Stay tuned to find out. So when I uh, set up my tent, well, Pat's tent in the garden yesterday, I obviously put my air mat and stuff up just to see like space-wise how it was. Um, when I put the pump away, I've disconnected the, uh, the valve to the pump. Gone to do it today and um, I was like, my thermos isn't inflating part. It's not doing it. Why is it not doing it? Just realised now that I'd stuck this bit on that end, which is actually sucking all the air out of the air mat and not actually inflating it. So yeah, I just wasted about 10 minutes thinking my thermos was popped. And um, yeah, use error. So I'm an idiot. Yeah, mate. Yeah, you. You look comfy there. Oh, <laughs> That's what I'm on Yeah, cosy tonight. What's that one? Outland Badge Brew Ginger Pale Ale. Ooh. Give it a go. Nice, yeah, man. There's your uh, oh, thing, by the way. Yep.
Mm. That's, That's alright, mate. Yeah. What's up, from? Tesco. Tesco. Sweet. I have to get some of those. That's nice. Yeah, it's just cleared, but I don't know much about weather and clouds, but this cloud here does not look very nice at the minute. So it's like Independence Day. It's like when the ship comes out the clouds. Is that a storm cloud part, do you reckon? Um, doesn't look good, does it? It doesn't look good. <laughs> it does not look good. <laughs> but the wind is blowing everything. Yeah, so the, the wind's coming from this way, so hopefully it's blowing that, whatever it is, back that way. If you do know stuff about weather, let me know um, what that cloud is called. Um, and also any websites to any helpful weather tips, how to read stuff, how to read weather, things like that. Greatly appreciated. Um, I feel a bit vulnerable up here sometimes when I come up because I don't know what to expect <laughs> from what's around me. Right, so I'm in the tent now, all warm and dry and set up. Well, I say set up, most of my shit is piled down there. Um, yeah, just gonna get some dinner on. So a stove of choice for tonight is this Fire Maple Petrol. Um, got this on Amazon recently. Pat put a link on our WhatsApp group saying that they were on offer. I think they're about 26, 27 quid. They reduced to like 20 quid. Um, but the great thing about it is it's made to go on their stove, whatever it's called. It also fits the Soto Windmaster with the TriFlex adapter. This isn't brand new information, I know that. It's on YouTube, there's plenty of videos. But I already had this stove, didn't have this pot. So, it literally just sits like that. Like it's made to fit, <laughs> it's great. Um, so I tried this yesterday in the garden and on my hike last week when I went up Brat Tour with the dog. And no joke, this is probably as fast as or better than the Jack Boyle Minimo. Um, it takes about 30 seconds to boil enough water for a coffee. So I'm gonna do that now. And then I've got my dinner, um, something sweet, veggie chili. Picked up six E's from Grow Outdoors. Um, they were reduced to like £4.50 on the website. So I ordered six of them in, collected them today on the way up. So. This is dinner for tonight and then the next five camps after this one. So good job, it's tasty and I enjoy it. So looking forward to this. I'm just settling in for the night, getting warm. I brought my Kindle with me so I can uh, read my book. And yeah, looking forward to it. Good to be back out. Steaming. Just about boiling now, 1 minute 30. I put a bit more because I'm obviously having food. But yeah, she's boiling. I'd say that's a boil. It's bubbling. And that is boiling water. So what, one minute 45 to do, what size is the pot, Pat? Uh, 700 mil? Uh, six, I think. Six, so to boil, what, 500 mil of water? Um, one minute 43-ish, 45-ish? It's pretty good, I'll take that. Well, guys, you can't see me, obviously, because it's dark, but I've just been out for a wee. Um, just got settled in my tent, got all nice and warm and stuff. Typically, need to wait as soon as I get in there. So I've come outside, um, looked up, and the stars are pretty insane tonight. So I'm going to try and get some shots in a minute for you guys. Just currently, um, yeah, just currently trying to get some shots of the tents. Um, and I've got my head torch behind Pat's, trying to light up the tour behind us. So if you're getting decent shots, I'll put them on the screen now for you guys, and they'll be on my Instagram as well. But uh, yeah, trying to get some thumbnail shots, I think. Let you know how they turn out. Of course, now my head torch is over there. I can't see where I've left my phone. <laughs> so it might take a while to, uh, to find it.
Morning guys. A bit uh, foggy today. Not really much to see, can't really show you much. But yeah, um, I'm still here. The tent's still here. Uh, it was a hell of windy last night. Woke up about four or five times. One point I had like a wet tent on my face. Um, woke up, went out for a wee, got back in the tent, watched a bit of YouTube. Took me about another hour to get off back to sleep. Woke up again, <laughs> not long after that. Um, did you sleep right, Pat? Next down though. Yeah? Yeah. Fell asleep about half nine, ten o'clock I think. Oh, about ten o'clock. And you woke up like five minutes ago. <laughs> and, uh, Fresh as the daisy. Yeah, mate. <laughs> It's a bit annoying, like, just sleeping this upside yeah. down, because the doors were the wrong way around for me, really, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, same, because like, I'm on slight, a slight kind of incline here. I have to sleep my head at this end, where the J-doors are. So it's a bit awkward getting in and out, you know, usually you kind of get in the tent and, like, you know, just dive in, and then your head's at that end. Um, but, yeah, if I do get one of these, I'm going to get along the T-zip door, because none of that space is accessible at the minute. It's only literally this door. Um, but yeah, decent little tent, it weighs nothing, packs down to nothing. Just wasn't the best decision for last night with the uh, weather, but like I said, I checked the weather before we came out. Well, a couple of days before, and it looked like it was you know, sunny and stuff this weekend, so it's my own fault really for not checking it again yesterday morning. But the bag's already packed, it's in the van, so yeah, packing up now. I've had a coffee, Pat's had a coffee, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get rocking, I think, and uh, get back down there because, like I say, it's pretty foggy at the minute. Not much to see. There's lots of dew on the grass and I'm wearing trail runners, so I'm going to get wet feet. So I'm just going to pack up and go home, I think. <laughs> there we go. All packed away. Actually packed away before Pat today, which is <laughs> quite good, quite rare. Normally I'm the last one to be ready to leave, but yeah. All packed up, nothing left. No tent pegs, no wrappers, no cans, nothing. Just some flat, dry grass, as it always should be. All right, ready? Aye. Ready, go. Out of way. Out of way. There's the rain, right on cue. <laughs> Wonder if we'll get that thunder that it said about. Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, it's meant to be uh, thunder and lightning, apparently this morning. But don't mind it, I mean, if we're walking back to the car, and it starts chucking it down and thundering. That might be pretty cool because it's really foggy and atmospheric and stuff. Um, so when we got here, there was a guy in the best spot. So I'll know for next time if I do come where to go. Uh, but yeah, where we were, pretty good spot. It's just like, say, when we we're pitching up, it was quite windy. So I think if we'd pitched up in that spot and then it was windy, it would have been a bit more kind of enjoyable. Um, not that it's a bad camp, it's just probably the, not the best tent choice I made yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, I think my new Robins, um, Pioneer 2AX or Big Blue as I've named it, would have been awesome last night. Plenty of space and it can withstand like, I think Robins tested it to 160 kilometers, which is like 96 mile an hour or something. Insane. So yeah, looking forward to using that this, uh, this winter. You right, mate? Oh, fine. I it. <laughs> Dry now. Yeah. <laughs> that look as you like emerging out of the fog then in like your bright blue jacket. <laughs> the same pat looks like a ninja, just keep walking. Because you've got like your backpack with your, your samurai swords and like your hood up and stuff. You're like either a ninja or a blue ninja turtle. <laughs> So I think I found my new favourite tour, um, Arms Tour, we're just checking out up top on our way back. And yeah, hella good spots, nice and flat. Get a group of us here. Nice flat bit there with some nice photos. The rocks in the background. 
funny spots and obviously on a clear day you get hella views so yeah we're gonna have to come back here i think and do a group camp because that'd be wicked <laughs> yeah. hey man what's your name again mark you nice to meet you man. yeah good to meet you yeah yeah, it was good. Yeah. The wind was whippy, but around me, so that yeah. was really yeah. nice. We had, we had my iron solo, and it was just like literally right up, right up next to it. So yeah. I was trying to like take the batter out of the wind out. Like, How yeah. windy did it get to think? Uh, it was just, the forecast, it was just to say. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's kind of things about it. I can say that. I'm going to throw a bit of glass up and go, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, me and Pat were just uh, discussing Christmas camp this year. I think this is the one. Arms Tour has so many wicked spots and the views are just insane. <laughs> um, yeah, imagine being up here in the snow, looking out at that, all snow covered. Um, and then get a group of us. We can all pitch up there. There's plenty of sheltered spots. Um, obviously, a bit exposed here at the minute. But yeah, there's plenty of spots you can tuck away. Aesthetically, it's just a lovely tour. And then um, we're thinking as well, where we're parked up, it's right next to Dartmoor Inn, so we can do like a WhatsApp group Christmas dinner after Christmas camp, that'd be wicked. So just put it on the group now for lads to uh, think over and uh, hopefully we'll be back here at Christmas. My feet are completely soaked. Just walk through this boggy bit. I can feel the water squelching around in my shoes. I don't know if you guys can see. There's like actual water coming out of my shoes there. <laughs> and now it's raining. <laughs> yeah, we walked past a massive cow yesterday that had a car filler. Um, so we're just taking a bit of a wide berth past these guys. But I've sent Pat first because he's one wearing red. So if they charge, they're going to charge him. Nah, I think it'll be alright. Still dry? Still dry. Nice. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, these drive pretty quick, these shoes, because they've got all the mesh and the vents on the side. Yeah. Yeah, it's not if it goes over the top, though, isn't it, really? But yeah. that's what the gates are for. Yeah. Like we bumped into again. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, he's part near us, so uh, we're just going to walk back with him now. I've got it in the legs. Yeah. Yeah, I need to do some training the rest of this year, and it's my birthday, end of January. Right. So we're on about February doing Brecon. Yeah. And it's obviously a lot steeper than Dartmoor, isn't it? So <laughs> to build yeah, some strength. Hey, doggies. Hello. Morning. Morning. So when I first started doing that, you've got the three things on the way around. There's always yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice yeah, to meet you again. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Travels, man. Get back to see you. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Look at that, that bone drying, isn't he? Nice. Yeah, I should have brought mine on soap. <laughs> <sighs> Just like that, back at the car. That was a wicked camp. Really enjoyed that. Um, if you guys did as well, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and all that stuff. Seen some decent progress on the channel recently. I think we've got like 12 subscribers this week, so I want to keep that continuing if I can. Try and make 500 by Christmas. So, yeah, thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you soon on the next one. Goodbye.